free psoriasis healing ebooks available. Send a request email to psoriasis.superwoman at gmail.com to receive these ebooks. Happy healing to everybody, for most of the people with psoriasis, winter is a dreadful time. Cold and dry air, low humidity, freezing temperature, and successive days in darkness, without sunlight, all these things altogether can make your skin super dry and itchy. Additionally, winter illnesses such as cold, flu and strep throat can worsen psoriasis symptoms. How to manage psoriasis in the winter Number 1 Bath or Shower in Lukewarm Water Avoid Hot Water Bath Hot water dries out the skin and can worsen itching. Also, it can increase the skin inflammation and redness. Prefer lukewarm water for bathing. Immediately after bathing, apply moisturizing cream to lock the water in your skin and keep it hydrated for a long time. Number 2 Keep Your Skin Moisturized Psoriasis is characterized by extreme skin dryness. This dryness can go many folds in the winter season. Regular use of a safe and effective moisturizer can prevent itchy and painful dry skin by locking in the skin's natural moisture. Moisturizing creams and ointments are thicker and more hydrating than lotions. Choose a fragrance-free, natural moisturizing cream with active ingredients such as aloe vera, shea butter, cocoa butter, manuka honey and coconut oil etc. Number 3 Avoid winter illnesses such as flu, cold and strep throat. Psoriasis is an autoimmune disorder, and if you come down with another illness, such as a cold or the flu, you are more likely to have a psoriasis flare-up. Hence, make every possible effort to stay away from getting infected with the flu, strep throat or any other infection. Number 4 Relax and keep it easy. Stress is the number one enemy of psoriasis and managing psoriasis during winter is itself a stressful and frustrating experience. Additionally, lack of sunlight and holiday stress, due to long Christmas holidays, can further make you feel low and tensed. Hence, take proper rest, keep it easy and try any of the stress-relieving techniques such as yoga, meditation, exercise, music, talking to friends and family. Spending time on your hobbies. Number 5 Use humidifiers if using room heaters for a long time. Continuous use of room heaters for a long time can make the air super dry to strip the natural moisture off your skin. In such cases, use a humidifier along to keep the indoor air moist and counter the drying effect of room heaters. Number 6 Drink Enough Water Prefer Lukewarm Drinking Water In winter, we drink less water than the summer. Drinking enough water is one of the easiest ways to keep the skin hydrated and moist naturally. Also, it helps with flushing out the metabolic body wastes, toxins, to keep the body metabolism healthy and kicking. Number 7 Avoid Excessive Alcohol Consumption during winter, people tend to consume alcohol more frequently. Alcohol is diuretic in nature and causes skin dryness. It affects the liver, causes nutritional deficiencies, increases inflammation and disturbs your sleep to trigger autoimmunity. Hence, excessive alcohol consumption should be avoided. Number 8 Wear soft, comfortable clothing during winter, you need to wear warm clothes and cover up your body properly to protect against freezing temperature and harsh winds. However, avoid heavy, coarse, clothes as they can induce itching and irritation due to frequent rubbing against the skin. Wear soft cotton clothes and use layers of thin clothes instead of wearing thick heavy clothes. Take dietary supplements of vitamin D and omega-3 fatty acids. Vitamin D deficiency is often linked to autoimmunity. Due to decreased exposure to sunlight during winter, 
you may need oral vitamin D supplements to maintain optimum vitamin D levels in your blood. Omega-3 fatty acids, also known as healthy fats, are one of the most important essential nutrients to reduce inflammation and relieve autoimmunity. Also, they nourish the skin from within to combat dryness. Please like this video. Share it with your friends. Please do subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching Psoriasis Center.